This is code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. This one looks tricky. Let's see what we got. Rainbow Snake. This program draws a very rare breed of rainbow snake. To make this snake draw differently every time, you need to use random colors. Oh, boys. Let me see what it has so far. Oh, that's a tiny snake. Random. You need to use, oh, random numbers. Okay, that makes sense. Do this. Run the program several times to see how the starter code works. Well, did it actually even change? Oh, it's moving. Okay, okay. Add at least three new different color circles to make your rainbow snake use random number. Uh, to make your rainbow snake. Okay, we need it three different color circles. Use random number to make the rest of the snake's body move up and down, just like the first three. All right, I'm going to hide this to give us some space. So, let's see here, sky. Um, huh. All right, so we got three colors. Let's go ahead and do fill. Um, I guess I'm going to grab a fill element. And it's funny, I'll just attach them, I guess. Fill... They already have yellow. Oh, well, I want to see the picture. Uh, oh, we want green, blue, and purple. Okay. So I'm going to write green here. Okay. And then I need a circle. I'm going to mess with those uh, the parameters of all these later. Oop, I don't want a background color. Green. I want to get these colors before I forget. Blue. And then we're going to have another ellipse. And then, nope, fill color. Purple. Okay, and now let's just see what this even looks like. Oh, right, it's going to be huge. Um, so we want to get these numbers. So it looks like, let's see, width and height. All of their ellipses are 50. So I'm going to trust them on that. And I'm going to set each of mine 50, 50. 50. And remember, the color must come before the shape. You got to pick paint and then what you want to draw. Oh, and I don't even have a shape after purple. So nothing, I can hit run on this. We'll be, um, well, it's still blocking it up. That's because I changed the height, but not the parameter that is the width, right? Because this parameter is width, that one's height. Let's see. 50. Blue. Oh, they're at the same location. All right. So I need an ellipse underneath purple for there to be a purple one. All right. Let's see. Oh, why isn't... Oh, because purple is drawn last. It's drawing our purple ellipse on top of our blue ellipse, which is on top of our green ellipse, because the code just runs in order. So how are we going to pick... Okay, they did 100, and then they added 40 to 140, then they added 40... To 180. Okay, so let's just follow their lead. 220, and then 220 plus 40 is 260, and then that would be 300. Let's see what this does. Okay, that's looking a bit better, but we now need to use the random part. So we go up over here to math, random. I'm going to put it here, and I'm just going to go down the line here. Random. Random. And, oh, they always used 190 to 210. So I'm going to do the same, because that way our snake stays attached. Because otherwise the body segments probably wouldn't touch. 190 to 210. 190 to 210. Alright, let's hit reset and see if it runs, actually. Oh, that's kind of cool. And it's moving. You see how it moves just a little? Oh, I love that. I bet we're going to learn how to randomize color soon, I hope, with RGB, just like we did uh, the RGB values in the web development unit. I hope so. Let me just make sure. Yep, that randoms, that moves. Can you make... Ooh, can you make some of the circles random too? Oh, I want to do that. So, I'm going to go back to math, and I want to change... For me, let's do the purple one. And width is first. I want to change the height because I don't want it to block other ones. 
Okay, so height, yep, is the second parameter. So I'm going to say height, well, I want it to start at 40, so it's not itty bitty, right? Because it was 50. And then we'll say go to, I don't know, 80. That might be craziness, but let's try it out. <laughs> Notice that it does change slightly. And if you can't see it, here, I'll prove it. 180. So now the head of the snake is changing up, at least mine. You can have fun with it. Change up the size, see what you can create. Um, and I think, though, we are good to move on. Make your uh, snake interesting. All right. 